from your business account to a private account. Yes, yes, no, eh? She wants you to do business with Sabah. That's what. The page is not about Maryland. And why is he blocking my wife? We've not got that yet. Um, don't have a side today. He plays my body too smart. Not too smart. Mr. Gray, I want you to give okay. him. Ask a question. Right now, she's a bad only person that could leave us this man. Because I'm sure we'll surely come back. With the type of money involved, we'll surely come back. Black men call back. You better get this guy. You Good afternoon, Chief. Barrister Jacob, yes, you have failed me. You have failed me. Uh, please, just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Did I hear you say calm down? That girl was not supposed to be set on bail. And you have failed your mission in collecting the tape and make her drop the case. And you are telling me to calm down. Huh? But Chief, Chief, uh, is the Constitution. The law has a provision that she could be granted bail. Based, of course, on the defense put forward by her lawyer. The law? You are telling me about the law. My son's life is greater than the law. And it must be avenged by so-called law. If you play your cards very well. But chief, I am trying. You are trying. I don't want you to try. I want you to hit it. I want you to do it. Oh, my, 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 my. Barrister Jacob, I am beginning to lose confidence in you. Chief, don't say that. I've never lost any case in court. And besides, from the information I have uh, from investigation, the contents of that tape is something I can easily defend. What is the content? They said it's rape, and uh, I can prove them wrong in the court of law. Oh, my God. Oh, I am worried. I am very worried because your daughter is very smart, and you have failed to see it. And it Red, she's going about this case. She might spring up. Surprise, surprise. No, 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 Chief. Uh, not with me. She's my daughter. I trained her to become a lawyer. I was in this profession before she was born. No, not with me. Oh, uh, well, um, I, Chief Bolaho Adebi, I have my ways of Getting things done. Yes. Uh, Chief, at this point, I will like you to take it easy. Yes, I will. I will. We have to see in court next week. It's all right, Chief. Good day. Thank you, Chief. your father and I've tried as much as possible to provide you with the opportunity to be educated that happens to be my entitlement your father got you educated too didn't he? I want to beg you I can't afford to lose that case because I've been reasonably paid and we all need the money can you just withdraw from that case and destroy all the evidence you have? I'm sorry, Father. What you're asking me to do is impossible. I cannot allow my client to suffer injustice. What is the matter with you? Why are you so stubborn? Dad, I am not stubborn. You are the one who has been unjustly. Do you consider money and forget justice? Will you shut up? Oh, my God. What is all this madness, for Christ's sake? Can't you have peace in this house anymore? Not when a daughter is disrespecting her father just because she's educated like him. Not when a father is being selfish. Sorry. Father, don't Shut you... up, Cynthia. Did you hear her? Did you hear her? Look, I've had enough. Enough for the both of you. 
You are driving me mad. This house is not a law court. Neither is it a legislative office. Can't you solve this now without causing rancor among yourselves? Can't you? When a daughter is very stubborn and refuses to understand, if I lose that case, my reputation will be at stake. You better tell her to drop from that case. Dad, I am not disrespecting you. Why don't you just see things for what they I are? I don't understand why father and daughter should quarrel over people's case. I don't get it. Hmm. It's alright. I can see that the father-daughter relationship is cancelled. I will see you in court. Come and have your breakfast at least. between the accused, Mrs. Dara Ashimota, and the state, which was read for hearing in, in this court on the 26th of last month, in which the accused pleaded not guilty. My lord, it is not in my character to be late, my lord. Um, you can see I look so rough. You may sit now. Thank you, my lord. My lord, let me not waste the time of this honorable court in the course of trial as we begin. If it pleases you, my lord, I crave your indulgence to play this tape as an evidence. What happened on that screen between my client, Mrs. Ashimoto, and the deceased? That was before my client got married. D uh, Dotu Bolaho did not only drug her, he also had carnal knowledge of her, which is an act of rape, punishable under the section 354 of the criminal law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is punishable to 14 years in prison. Now, <clears throat> He records this on a video camera which he uses to blackmail my client when he realized that she was married to a wealthy man. He did not stop at that. He invited her to a hotel room to have sex with her. And when she would not bulge, he produces a gun with which he threatens her. Now, in the course of um, scuffle, in the course of refusal, he was trying to rape her. She gets hold of this gun and shoots him to death. She was only trying to defend herself. She was fighting for her dear life. My Lord, that sums it all up. As we have heard on that, on that tape, the voice of my client asking the disease to keep off. She was shouting for help. 
I want this court to understand that that was the voice of a woman who was helpless. That was the voice of a woman who was under threat. That was the voice of a woman who was trying to defend herself from a, a rapist who has no conscience or human feelings. My Lord, my client should therefore be pronounced innocent. I rest my case. My Lord, the accused was actually enjoying the lovemaking, which puts her in a sleepy position because I don't believe that it was being a case of unconsciousness, but that of lost unconsciousness in ecstasy. Now my dear friend said that her client was drunk. But let me ask, first, how did she know that her client was drunk? Because we did not see that on the screen, that the disease dropped her client. And secondly, how did she, the client, gain entrance into that apartment and in fact into the bedroom if actually they were not friends or possibly lovers with an agreement to have sex? My Lord, I consider that evidence baseless and cannot carry water if I may use that statement. And I pray this honorable court to disregard that evidence. The court should go on 30 minutes break as I prepare my judgment. For me, which has been proved beyond all reasonable doubt, there is no doubt that the accused was under pressure and self-defense, which made her shoot the deceased. She is therefore free of murder, but I find her not guilty. I never discharge and acquit her. This is my job. express my undying love to you. No matter what happens, I'll always love you. It wasn't how it 
supposed to be.